Good morning and welcome to everyone this morning. It's so good to see everyone. Especially after a very long day yesterday, it's nice to see people here. As we begin our worship this morning, let us stand and turn to our opening hymn as we sing together. Again, 
has to answer it. If I have won your favor, O king, and if it pleases the king, let my life be given me. That is my petition. And the lives of my people, that is my request. For we have been sold, I and my people, to be destroyed, to be killed, and to be annihilated. If we had been sold nearly as slaves, sorry, if we had been sold nearly as slaves, men and women, I would have held my peace. But no enemy can compensate for this damage to the king. Then King Asorius said to Queen Esther, Who is he? And where is he? Who has presumed to do this? Esther said, A foe, an enemy, this wicked Haman. Then Haman was terrified before the king and the queen. Then Harbona, one of the eunuchs in attendance on the king, said, Look, the very gallows that Haman has prepared for Mordecai, whose word saved the king, stands at Haman's house, fifty cubits high. And the king said, Hang him on that. So they hang Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. Then the anger of the king abated. Mordecai recorded these things and sent letters to all the Jews who were in all the province, province, provinces of King of Eros, both near and far, and joining them that they should keep the 14th day of the month Adar and also the 15th day of the same year, of the same month, year by year as the days on which the Jews gain relief from their enemies, and as the month that had been turned for them from sorrow into gladness and from mourning into a holiday, that they should make them days of feasting and gladness, days for sending gifts of food to one another and presents to the poor. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. The Psalm appointed for today is Psalm 124. Let us read it in unison. If God had not been on our side, let Israel now say, If God had not been on our side, when enemies were against us, then should they have swallowed us up alive in the fierce anger toward us. Then would the waters of the world us and the current come over us. Then would the great waters of the world us. Bless us be God, who has handed us over to the mere prey of their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of God, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thank you. 
so that you may be healed. The prayer of the righteous is powerful and effective. Elijah was a human being like us, and he prayed fervently that it might not rain. And for three years and six months, it did not rain on the earth. Then he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth yielded its harvest. My brothers and sisters, if anyone among you wandered from the truth and is brought back by another, you should know that whoever brings back a sinner from wandering will save the sinner's soul from death and will cover a multitude of sins. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. But because sometimes 
we don't step in when we see something wrong happening in this world, it looks more like whoever's not for us is against us. And so that's the way most people will interpret that. So to give you an example, if you're out, I was going to say if you're on the bus, but nobody rides the bus around here. <laughs> I'm so used to riding the bus. It's like, oh no, we don't do that here. But you're you're in a store and you see someone hassling someone because of their race, their gender, their age. And if you just walk away, it looks like whoever is not for us is against us. It's that whole thing about James talking about prayer. Now, when we think of prayer, we only think about a conversation with God. But prayer is more than that. If you keep reading James, you'll hear him say multiple times that prayer without action is dead. So part of our prayer is also what we do. Not just our conversation with God, but what we do. So if we see someone being hassled because they're black, Hispanic, white, woman, man, child, senior adult, whatever it might be, if they're being hassled for who they are, and we don't say anything, to that person it feels like we are not for them. And so we need to, to think about what it means to pray for one another. Does it just mean just a conversation with God? Or does it mean that if things aren't unsafe, and I'm going to say this because there are times where it's unsafe to say something, but if it's not unsafe to say something about what's going on, maybe that's a piece of our prayer. That's our prayer and action to stand up for people who need that. And it happens all the time. We don't always notice it. Or sometimes we feel it's unsafe. If we see that happening and we think it's unsafe, maybe it's time to call someone then. The police are always willing to come out when they hear things like that happening. Because they want people to be safe. That's their job. So that is what we can do if we can't ourselves step in for safety reasons. I wish that it was always true that whoever is not against us is for us. And I think it is true for most of us, but I don't think that's what it looks like. And so as you consider praying for one another, consider what actions are needed to pray for one another.
Lord, you have called us to serve you. Grant that we may walk in your presence, your love in our hearts, your truth in our minds, your strength in our wills, until at the end of our journey, we know the joy of our homecoming and the welcome of your embrace through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins to God. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness to each other, in ourselves, and in the world we have made. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior Jesus Christ. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through the grace of Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of Christ be always with you. And also with you. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God. All are welcome at the Lord's table and are invited to share communion with us. Now let us turn to our offering hymn as we sing together.
Eucharistic prayer. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is truly right and good and joyful to give you thanks, O holy God, source of life and fountain of mercy, because you sent your beloved Son to redeem us from sin and death and to make us heirs in him of everlasting life, that when he shall come again in power and great triumph to judge the world, we may without shame or fear rejoice to behold his appearing. Therefore, joining with angels and archangels and with the faithful of every generation, we lift our voices with all of creation as we say. Holy, holy, holy.
Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And we may the time of the temptation. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. We remain for we all share in the one bread. The gifts of God for the people of God.
Let us pray. God of abundance, you have fed us with bread of life and of salvation. You have given us Christ and one another, and you have made us one with all your people in heaven and on earth. Now send us forth in the power of your Spirit that we may proclaim your redeeming love to the world.
hung out and dealt with the mosquitoes and the sun and everything else that was going on. So, um, Pam, do you have an idea about how much we raised? About 2,600, good. Not bad, because we didn't have the cafe this year, for people who didn't know. And we only did one day instead of two, so to do that well is fantastic. So thank you. To everyone who donated items, <laughs> we thank you too. Because we had a couple go that were good ticket prices too, so that was really, really wonderful. So again, thank you. Yes, and for those who, yes, so, so Eileen is, we, she helped us get stuff into the shed that we were keeping, and she's got a full truck right now, and she's coming back for another full truckload of stuff, and she knows groups that can take our extra items, so hopefully we won't have a full dumpster. And, and, and I would let everyone who comes in in the next couple of days know that the items downstairs are, <laughs> they can take. <laughs> I'll put signs up so we have less to take care of, so uh, that'll be great. So thank you. Uh, we have started our Wednesday um, adult formation check-in and night prayers, and so we start at 7 o'clock um, with our adult ed, and we move into a check-in at 7.45, so people who may want to just drop by before Compline and say hi before we pray are very welcome to stop in then and then we at eight o'clock we do our prayers and um, it's always wonderful. I have a good time. I get to see Al often so it's, it's nice to have people from outside the local area still coming in and joining us so um, a lot of fun. So we haven't picked yet what we're going to be doing for our adult formation um, but we will do that as we get together. Next Sunday is October 3rd, and next Sunday is the Blessing of the Animals. So I invite everyone to bring your pets with you. If they um, are small enough, they should be on a leash or in a cage. If you, you have a cat, they often prefer hiding in their cage rather than coming out. Oops. And it's, it's okay for um, anyone to bring stuffed animals. Yes, and, I was, <laughs> and, and we welcome all the stuffed animals that kids want to bring. And we will make sure that they get blessed as well because, you know, I was one of those kids who had stuffed animals all over the place. So you can ask, well, I say you can ask my mom, but you gotta wait until you go to hell and then you can ask her. Uh, so yes, and you know, I have even blessed a plant for someone. So that was her pet. So um, uh, it, it all works, it all works. So please um, bring your, Bring your friends with you, and we will have a wonderful blessing of the animals. The next Sunday is October 10th, uh, which is actually um, Columbus Day weekend, which or Indigenous Day weekend, um, depending on how you'd like to say that. And um, Sister Shane will be here on that Sunday. So in two weeks, Sister Shane will be here. I will be gone for that day. Um, there will be no Sunday school on the next two Sundays, correct? Yeah. <laughs> Marie's standing in the back reminding me of all the things that I, was, I didn't write down. <laughs> so, yep, so we'll have no Sunday school the next two Sundays. The first one is so that we can have everyone here, which is wonderful. The next is um, to give Marie and Suzanne a break uh, to, to do some of the things that they were looking forward to doing. So, And of course, we uh, have you. I talked a lot yesterday, you can tell it doesn't work anymore. Um, as you notice, we have our lay assistants and our acolytes back, um, and we have extra readers and everything, so if you would like to participate in any of those things, please let us know if your kids would like to either participate as acolytes or as readers. We are also looking for readers um, in that age group, so please. As parents are asking now, going, yeah, you want to do this, right? Yeah. Oh. So, um, and they will read on the weeks when they don't have Sunday school, because we take off at least one Sunday a month for, for um, from Sunday school, so that our Sunday school teachers get to participate in the liturgy as well, and so we get to see them. What am I missing? Because you know what? My brain is fried, girl. <laughs> 